This is basically what the lift looks like so far. We 
the incisions. I guess after it's done, I'll give you all a, a rundown on exactly what I did. But as you can see, it's been cut. This is the actual, this is how much I had to cut off. This, probably about two inches. I had to make an incision for the V so that the, the, the lip can fold, like when I like kind of cling like this. Rivet it down. All this, this has been shaved off. This was actually one piece where I come in here. It's been shaved off, smoothed out. I see all the body works. All the body work's been done so far. It's primed, it's primed, so I'm just waiting for that to dry, to sand it down again. Same thing with the other side. A V incision, the screws. I gotta make some more screws here. Same thing here. All this been cut out. Presenting the finished product of a 6.5 gen lip for modified for the 04 6 gen max. Came out pretty fucking sick. I will tell y'all now, this is a lot of work. This is why it's called custom. If you don't have the resources like I do, you have no And you don't have any um, body work experience a little of what I have don't attempt it it's a lot of work all right let's try to get this car thing mounted to the car now the nation's first 6.5 gen bump lip on a 6 gen maxima I'm gonna tell y'all right now if you do not have bodywork experience, if you don't have the resources, if you don't have help, do not attempt this modification. This modification took me months to finally get where I'm at right now, and um, I'm happy with the outcome. I just have a slight issue right here. I could deal with that for now, but I could, um, I'll try to fix that some other time. I'm just trying to get out of the my boy's body shop so I can go home. I got a little date tonight. And um, yeah, man. That's how she looks. Let me know what y'all think, man. I made my own lip. Happy with the outcome.